evening. I'm Elizabeth Alex. And I'm Mark Clegg. Our top story at 6 o'clock, not all sex offenders living in Missouri are registering with the state. And accounting for every single sex offender has proven to be a challenge for law enforcement, but it's one they are working to overcome to keep you safe. Marissa Cleaver joins us with details on the new report. Marissa? Well, Elizabeth, the report done by Missouri State Auditor Susan Monty shows that statewide about 93% of sex offenders are registered with the state, which is a big improvement. The Sex Offenders Registry Enforcement Unit in downtown Kansas City is busy. Jackson County Sheriff Mike Sharp says this is their number one priority. We're struggling, but we're getting by. And it's obvious by the numbers from the audit from uh, Auditor Monty that we've uh, we've knocked that number down of noncompliance drastically since we've been here. Two years ago in Jackson County, 45% of sex offenders weren't registered. According to Missouri Auditor Susan Monty, that number is now down to about 11% compared to around around 4% in Clay County and 20% in the city of St. Louis. Things really are on the right path. We feel very, very good about the work that our law enforcement has done. But Monty adds that more work needs to be done. A recent Supreme Court ruling requires offenders who were previously exempt to now register. Many of them have not. The statistics have shown most offenders move at least four times a year. So it's going to take time to track those people down and try and figure out where they are to get them to bring them back in here. This six-member unit in Jackson County already has a lot of work with the highest number of sex offenders in the state at more than 1,400. To help keep up, the Sheriff's Office will unveil a website similar to this called the Offender Watch Program. You can get online, sign up. We can notify them via text message, email, and we can even mail out postcards if they'd like with photographs of the sex offender where they've moved to. The website will be operational next week. Monty is calling for the legislature to require sex offenders to check in more frequently. You can find the entire audit on our website, NBCActionNews.com. Look under local news. Marissa Cleaver, NBC Action News.